Why am I writing this book? Hey guys, so I want to jump on real quick and start talking about, you know, the development of this book, um, which stems back to prior to the awakening experience. And at that time, of course, I didn't have, you know, the space, the knowledge, the awareness of where I am now. Um, <clears throat> this was back a long time ago. I don't know, I would say it was probably about, um, maybe in my, my 20s, 30s. Um, late 20s, early 30s. Um, and then I had this desire to um, just start writing as far as typing, because back then we had the computers when they started coming out, which is probably dating myself, but it was when the computers started coming out to the public and you had like the DOS systems and then you had the programs um, that you could uh, put onto your computer and start doing things. So. <clears throat> Having brought a computer um, uh, with my income tax rate, um, I had got, gotten some uh, computer games and apps and things to put on the DOS system. And one of them was a typing. I had this desire to start learning how to type. I didn't know how to type. And in my mind, it was like, okay, it's a great way for me to um, better myself in a job, right? <clears throat> um, and so, you know, going along that concept, you know, as in the human self, little, little did I know that it was going to lead to, you know, having to need this skill later in, in this moment where I'm writing the I am discourse, right, the way through. Um, and it, it just kind of evolved over time. So I taught myself, I was self-taught to type and do all these things. And then, of course, um, going to school has helped me to develop you know, writing skills, things like that. Um, as while this human Laura was doing her thing, you know, source was working through me on a different level, which has kind of brought everything together after the awakening. Um, so when I was in my counseling um, career, you know, going to school, working in the addiction center, and um, sitting there, I started doing this intuitive writing, right? This channeled writing. Um, and I wasn't aware of what that was. <clears throat> um, it had happened to me before in the past, before the awakening, but I was in fearful thoughts, right? Of that. And I didn't, wasn't ready for it, you know? And so to me, what um, was coming through felt um, fear-based. And so I kind of put that aside, you know, because we are all conditioned to believe, you know, anything like that is evil or bad, you know. And of course, again, that was before my awakening. So uh, years later, fast forward, um, I was in the, had my awakening, um, gone home death experience, and then the angel experience. And then evolving through that, you know, I started going on the path of what I was guided to go on, which was counseling. So I started taking counseling courses. And then from that point, you know, when I was actually, you know, working in a facility, um, you know, all these things just started happening, right? And one of them was automatic writing, whether that's channeled writing or intuitive writing, however you want to talk about it, it was automatic writing. Things just started flowing to me through my hand and I was just writing things. So it was opening, coming back around again, right? So this time I was a little bit more open and aware um, because of things in the space that I was in now that I had the awakening, <laughs> you know, and all that fear-based stuff kind of shifted, right? Um, out of that conditioned state. So from there, you know, I, I took interest in everything that was coming through because I was channeling information um, related to counseling, you know, and different things were coming in, you know, um, and things I'm going to be making videos on as far as like, you know, every moment is a new moment to have um, change, to change our lives, right? And so these are things that were coming to me to help my clients that I was seeing through counseling and coaching. 
and it's just higher conscious knowledge right through um from that perspective and so i this is how i learned a lot of my own stuff right and was able to work on myself and you know go on my own spiritual journey and then for us to be able to help others we have to go through it ourselves right and so i have all my past awakening uh experiences and then i have the awakening and then the awareness and consciousness um after the awakening that and i can put it all together and help people with the coaching and um, counseling sessions that i provide um and that's why i offer what i offer but with the book right <clears throat> all this knowledge has come to me so i want to put it in a book um and this was through um year i would say years over writing i have all these piled writings i started putting into books two of them are already on amazon they're the pre-books um this one here is the i am discourse um, which was helping me to get ready for this one because it practiced channeling and automatic writing <clears throat> receiving the information you know it's kind of a, de a development through higher conscious source um and the channeling of the book so it's like a practice it's it's an ev evolution of the book right um and so that has helped me uh to do that so i'm also making the videos now um so i have the book and the videos and my coaching sessions and um also i do um hypnosis like introspective hypnosis sessions um and also intuitive readings things like that uh, channel readings but with the book, you know, having had my past experience before awakening and then the after the awakening and then the after, I'm able to bring this all together and bring it out, you know, for other people because it's, it's time to start sharing this, you know. Um, I had talked to somebody, you know, and I had to get out of my own ego in order to do this, right? Um, and, you know, and this one keeps resonating with me. I met this, it was like this. I call them God appointments or source appointments, divine appointments. Um, I talked with this one person, they're like, you know, and they didn't even really know me, but the few minutes that we spent together and I gave them some information and they were like, you know, if you have this information, you need to share it, you know, because otherwise it's just selfish. It's not doing anybody any good if you don't share it. So this is where I've been working on, you know, myself. Uh, getting over the ego to be able to prepare this and to bring this to you and help more people. Um, so uh, with that being said, you know, the the book had come to me, uh, the, the writings, you know, that was just in preparation for this book and wherever that's going to go, you know, after this, I'm not sure, but I'm just following the guidance. Um, so this was all definitely meant to be. Um, is that something that I would say that, you know, oh, I, I want to write this book. You know, it's something that's coming through me because we all have certain things that we are meant to do. This is our um, spiritual gift to the world. And this is it for me. And <clears throat> having going through everything that I went through, it's helping me to see, you know, a lot of us will think, oh, well, you know, my purpose in this life is to be, um, <clears throat> you know, um, an architect or this and this and this and this but we have a spiritual purpose as well we have something that we are gifted with and we have a divine purpose to bring into the world not just our purpose in the world so if you haven't found that purpose you want to dive into that maybe um, so you can share your your spiritual gifts you know with everybody um, but anyway not to go off on that tangent but um, so as the book has evolved, you know, it's gone through see, these little clips of uh, intuitive writing. As I was going along, I compiled them all, <clears throat> started putting them into, finally, uh, I think it was last year, I put them into the pre-books, which is the pre-book before this book. Is there, if there's going to be another book after this, and maybe it might have to split this up into many books because this is a lot of information. The way it's coming to me and how to put it and organize it, you know, is a process. So um, with that, going through the part where, where I had to get past my ego <clears throat> to bring this out to people um, and to do this, you know, that was part of the process, right? Because it's like, 
who's going to listen to me? You know, uh, and, and, and the mind goes off and it's like, okay, you need to stop, <laughs> you know, and it's not really, how do you pass that? Because like whoever this is going to resonate with is going to resonate with it. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. And that's fine, right? If it doesn't resonate with you, then it doesn't. So it's only for who those who um, are needing it, you know, and so I had to self-talk myself through this and get rid of the, the ego outside of that. Um, you know, and the Tao and um, all that um, conditioning. So it's still working through a lot of my, my stuff, you know, as far as that. But as this was happening, I had a um, few other people that would come in, right? So first it was the person who said, um, you know, you really need to share this information because it's going to be helpful to others, right? Who are in your... <clears throat> Well, I don't want to say in your space because nobody has the same exact experience as me, but it's relatable to them in different ways and they can use it. So let's just say it that way. Um, so having had that been my first um, topic on it, got me thinking. <clears throat> and so from there, <laughs> you know, I had this, um, this person who was down, apparently they had gone to, uh, I was living on Clearwater Beach at the time. And so with being on Clearwater Beach, I would go sit uh, every night, you know, on the beach and then uh, meditate at night, right? Sunsets and watch them every night. Um, so that was like my space of bliss. Um, and so that was part of my journey too, you know, meditating, divinely connecting, um, receiving information and holding that space um, like every single night. And that's why I said meditation is very important, you know, for us for our, to build our own divine connection. And so it happened one day, I was leaving work and um, I had gone into one of the metaphysical shops. And the minute I stepped in a metaphysical shop, I, I received by spirit, you know, you need to hurry up because you got, you got somebody waiting for you. And then this medium came up um, and said, you need to get going, there's somebody waiting for you. It's like, <laughs> it was like a confirmation of the confirmation of information that I had already gotten. And mind you, I haven't really de developed my intuitive abilities at that point, right? So I didn't really take any, um, so I could develop, you know, uh, classes, you know, I was just starting to uh, go on this journey, right? And, and start diving into this, um, but anyway, so I got my few items, went home, did my dinner, um, and then went and sat on the beach. And the minute I went and sat on the beach, I knew the person sitting over next to me <laughs> was uh, the person. Um, and so then they walked over me to me, and when we had a conversation, we spent the whole, uh, we spent like from that time, like until like two, three in the morning. And we were talking about all these different things um, that was like related to energy vibration he was a lot younger than me so it wasn't like you know love you know um, or anything like that meeting it was like a divine meeting um and so he was starting a career in songwriting and um things like that and it was so funny because he was doing some rapping and songs for me on the beach it was really cool um but it was a really cool in-depth you know, conversation on things that are beyond our physical realm, you know, I mean, energy, vibration, mega, you know, the hertz, um, uh, raising vibration, energy. Um, but his song uh, was basically about why not right. It was called Why Not Right. <laughs> and um, that was kind of his, his message to me, the gift, right? And so we had our divine meeting, we spent the, the time talking, um, and then he had gone on his way and I went on my way. Next thing I know, he had sent me the song, Why Not Right, right, after our departing. He's like, yeah, I forgot to send, give this to you. Not that it was for me, written for me, but he, he was wanting, he was feeling guided to, to send it to me. So I, I, and then I listened to it. It was about um, somebody, you know, with, going through uh, hard times, counseling, um, you know, uh, and it was a song about counseling, right? And so here I am, I'm in counseling. Um, I'm doing this automatic writing and I'm being guided to share my knowledge and wisdom, right? And so as this is all <laughs> evolving, it's like, oh my God, like 
this is this is real, but it's not real. Like, what is going on here? But anyway, <clears throat> he sent me the song, Why Not Right? And so I listened to it, and then it was really interesting, um, you know, everything that was evolving from that point. So fast forward uh, to the next visitor, because I kind of started more intimate, you know, implementing that and trying to really move through, you know, the resistance and fighting the the mind and the beliefs and things like that about sharing what I have. Like, um, is this going to be acceptable? Are people going to listen? People are going to want this information? Are people are people ready? You know, for the information. Um, and so, <laughs> uh, the next visitor came. Uh, it was in the middle of the night. Actually, it was around 2015. It was like 2 a.m. in the morning. Um, there was uh, a person standing in the doorway of the bedroom. Now, <clears throat> all the experiences that I've had with um, certain spirits, like they stand in the doorway. They don't actually come into the room, right? Some have, um, but this, um, the ones who, um, there's this one that always just stands in the doorway. Right. When I moved to Florida um, and I had moved in, which is a whole different story. But when I moved into this one place and I finally found this place, uh, they came right before I went off to sleep. They came and stood in the doorway and it, it's a male figure. And I could see like the it was like a form is just just like a man standing in the, in the dark um, and form and said, you'll be safe here. Right. And so and then disappeared. I was like, OK, so <laughs> that was like. An interesting experience for me too because again this was after my waking so all this stuff is new like where it was like part of me knew what I was going to be doing and on this journey but still part of the lore itself was still hanging out like kind of so you had the being and then the observer of the lore is like okay what's going on because I was having both parts here going on I'm like what is happening here right anyway um, so then the visitor uh, of, for the book you know, in 2015, came, stood in the doorway, still think male uh, version um, uh, of it, but no features, just a, an outline. Um, and energetically, I could tell it was a, as a male, right? Um, and they said, it's intended for you to write to help born a new light across the, the land. So write. And then they disappeared. I was like, and it's so interesting because like I have a lot of experience between um, after the awakening from like one to three. This is where a lot of times these things will happen. And so I was like, okay, I'm starting to get this, you know, the Laura version of myself is starting to get this. Okay, we're going to need to do this, uh, I guess, at some point. Um, and so the, the next um, experience that happened is basically when the, um, I was living on the beach, as I mentioned. And then so from there, I like to call it... Um, you know, like the, the heavens, the heavens open, right? <laughs> um, because literally it, it seemed like that. And so where this came from was like really intense because I was sitting there walking along the beach, my morning walk with tea and then my, you know, my um, uh, beach blanket and going for my morning walk like I usually did. Um, and then connecting, contemplating, connecting and and then going for a swim. So I stopped, put down my stuff. I was like, oh, this is a perfect spot. So I went into the water and <laughs> did my water cleansing and things like that. Um, came out of the water. And then as I was coming up on the beach, and, and <laughs> I, it was like this opening, like this um, energy and vibration. And it, and it said, and there was nobody around me. Right, because I always try to find a secluded place, you know, just to so I can stay be in my own space. There was nobody around me, and it was like um, it said, "You you were meant to write, so write." Be like Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, right? I'm like, okay, so what does that mean? There's no Jesus around me or anything like that. So what does that mean, right? <laughs> um, and so it was really interesting that this voice it was like a resounding voice. Um, it was like almost like it was all around me, but it, it was like coming through me. And so it was like this verberation of this energy that took form in a verbal voice. And it was like huge. It wasn't like just me talking to you. It was like 
huge voice. And I'm like, okay, so the heavens are now opening. I need to do this, right? <laughs> um, so, and so whether, you know, whether you want to say that's been, because I have intuitive hearing. And so when I, I hear things and so I do have visions, hear things, and you know what I mean, um, for messages. But for for that, for me, that was huge. And it was like, you know, I really need to do this and I need to get over myself. Right? Um, and it's kind of speed this up because that was, it's, you know, I've been getting all these messages this whole time. And it's like, I really need to get on this, you know, because this has been like a, a while in the making, you know, from pre, <laughs> pre-Laura pre to after person, Laura, um, you know. And so basically that is how it's kind of evolved over time. Now, as far as um, the information that I'm putting in the book, you can, you know, you can, like I said, you can get the pre-books, which has the little clips of prior to the awakening, um, and then you're going, we're going to have this book here, and so um, having all that information and all that, that has been the development of my, of my book, you know, uh, well, I don't want to say my book, it's not my book, I didn't say like, hey, one day I'm going to write this book, and then do all this research <laughs> and then put it in paper and then on paper and, and hand it out to people. This is um, being channeled, uh, you know, not just for me, but for everybody, whoever is going to be, you know, connected to it or it's going to resonate with you. And some parts may and some parts may not, but it's always worth, you know, checking out because if it's going to help somebody, you know, I want to do that. Um, and I don't want to just keep it to myself and just live <laughs> live my life by these um, higher uh, higher knowledge right um, concepts. So um, from 2016 to uh, 2021, you know, I've been working on different things um, and trying to ignore, <laughs> still ignore it at that point, right? Because <laughs> I'm trying to work through my own self you know, um, to get over myself. And so, um, you know, it was, it was definitely a process. And sometimes, you know, we do go through that, you know, in order to bring through your spiritual you know, gifts, you know, and what you're guided to do. So, um, you know, that is also something to take away from this story, um, you know, is if you have found your spiritual uh, gift or what you're supposed to bring into the world, um, you know, it may take you a little while to get through it, and it's okay. You know, um, it does take a little while for certain people. Some people, you know, may be right away okay with it. But for, for me, you know, I had to work through this um, because, you know, it's like, you know, are people ready for this? You know, this is things that um, go against a lot of what people are already ingrained in, you know, because it took me the old way to separate from that which is my awakening experience to be able to have this information come in you know because you have to <clears throat> it's like a jar full of you know um let's say anything sand or dirt whatever you're going to put in a jar if you have it full you can't accept anything more into that jar unless you take some out right and so <laughs> you have to kind of empty yourself in order to uh put something else in there right so and of course it didn't happen until, you know, I was ready. Um, so definitely, um, but that's that's the evolution of this book. And just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, if you have any questions or I will definitely let you know when this book is available and ready and done, um, just stay tuned. Um, you can also reach out to me and get on an email list um, or just um, like subscribe uh, to the channel. I'll be making that announcement on here as well. All right, so, okay, thanks. Happy journeys.